Mm -hmm. mm. A new firmware update for the Lumix S cameras. Let's see if it's any good. <laughs> Ciao guys and welcome back, I'm Luca and in today's video we're gonna compare the Panasonic Lumix S1 with the new firmware update that is gonna improve the autofocus performances drastically of the camera against the Sony A6300. Regarding the lens, I'm using the 24-105 on the S1 and the 35mm f1.8 on the Sony. We're gonna use the focal equivalent of 50mm for both systems and on the Sony we're gonna have a shallower depth of field because I'm gonna shoot at f1.8. Spoiler alert, it's good, it's better. Would I use it every day? Mm, mm, not sure. I don't know if it's a problem of the lens that is a little bit slow. I know that S Pro lines lenses have a dual motor so the autofocus performances are better. Uh, I would like to know if your cameras and lenses are performing better than what you are seeing here. Uh, write down in the comment what camera you're using and what lens you have so we can all see what are the best combination for autofocus work. After the firmware update, mm, I don't know if I saw such a big improvement in the autofocus performances, honestly. I mean, sometimes got better. Sometimes I got really surprised that it could have uh, stick on me while moving around in the garden, but I don't know, like it's completely random, so sometimes it works, sometimes not. So if you ask me, would I use it for a professional environment, uh, I would say no, because it's still not 100% reliable, but on the other hand, considering that Sony has the best autofocus system in the market, to me also Sony doesn't look that uh, perfect and cinematic as well, so I wouldn't use autofocus at all for videos with both systems. I know that the manual focus approach can be scary at the first time, but once you get used, you're gonna find out that it's way better than uh, work with autofocus. It's like shooting with your camera in uh, aperture priority or shutter priority, and then you don't know what's gonna happen with the exposure levels of uh, the scene. So for video, it's always better to stick just with uh, total manual control of the camera and the lens, in my opinion. So I hope that this video was helpful if you were in the doubt to buy a Sony or a Panasonic camera, uh, considering the autofocus performances on uh, both systems. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Ciao!